Hey there, this is a bag of parts that I bought from Lego through their Bricks and Pieces service. And I'm going to answer a viewer question, or a whole class of closely related viewer questions as I go through this. First, I'm going to take out the piece of paper, which has some identifiable information I don't need to share. But uh, actually, in my last part haul, which was a BrickLink one, I answered a frequently asked question at the beginning of that and a shocking number of people seem to really appreciate that. So I'm going to do it again. And I'm also going to ask, do you want me to do more question answering, direct viewer question answering in videos, either tacking answers on to existing videos or to you know, other, other types of videos or even doing dedicated videos where I go through maybe, you know, answering some, some number of questions for, I don't know, the month or something like that. Just let me know what, what you think about that. It was surprising to see how many people actually, uh, specifically tuned in to the, to the last one. Uh, here I want to talk about BrickLink versus Lego bricks and pieces. Oftentimes uh, I'm, I'm always going to put these together just automatically as soon as I get them, these garage door pieces, uh, I frequently get asked why I buy from BrickLink and not Lego Bricks and Pieces or vice versa. And uh, yeah, just kind of what is what is the the thinking? What is my thinking behind those sources and also the Lego pick a brick wall at physical stores? Well, I do buy from all of the above. And what it comes down to is usually the Lego Bricks and Pieces service. I will... I will use when there are new parts that have come out that are particularly interesting to me that I consider to be special and that I want quickly, relatively quickly, before they have a chance to to really be assimilated into the, the BrickLink world. Uh, oftentimes, you know, stuff will become available in some quantity for reason, very reasonable prices early on the bricks and pieces service where I got all this stuff from before BrickLink sellers have had a chance to break down a lot of sets that have the pieces or maybe you know there's one set that comes out with one of a new piece or two of just that single piece and thus it becomes very expensive to to get those to get that piece on BrickLink because supply is low and demand is high but if you can get that same piece directly from from Lego through their bricks and pieces service, then you can get it at a very reasonable price. So I will tend to do that. Like for instance, something like this. I don't know how many sets have had this. It's the brown pneumatic T piece, but you know, I was able to get a bunch of them in this haul here. Pretty cheap. And like this, have they done that in what one set? Or has it been in, in two by now? I think it's only been in one, the big old Stranger Things set, which is very expensive. So, you know, without being able to buy these on uh, directly from Lego, uh, I'm sure the cost would be high. I actually didn't look up the cost, but, uh, you know, a lot of BrickLink sellers are able to sneak some purchases through the Bricks and Pieces service and then turn around and, and put a more reasonable markup on, on parts. So, you know, that can really help the, the market like that. But yeah, if it wasn't for these services in general, I wouldn't be able to have a bunch of these now for cheap. They were, you know, they were pennies. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but yeah, I was sure to get some of those. Uh, on the other hand, uh, oftentimes I will go to BrickLink as frequently as possible. I'll go to BrickLink to get things cheaper than I can get them on the Lego bricks and pieces service because you know you have this whole network of sellers around the world who are as efficient as they can be who source parts at the lowest rates they reasonably can and then they pass on a lot of those savings when possible to their customers and potential customers so oftentimes you know bricklink sellers breaking down full sets to get lots of pieces will be able to 
to put them on the market much cheaper than Lego does directly. And I just like to get new pieces or pieces in the desired good condition as cheap as reasonably possible, you know, from genuine sur uh, sources. These all, all come from uh, the, the special edition sets that were, that were initially only released in Asian markets. And that I think, uh, I, th I think a lot of these were in the, the new year's, uh, the Chinese new year's dinner set. I, I didn't look up all of the, the exact sources, but I just got a whole bunch of these things from a set that wasn't even released over here. And I only want those pieces. I was able to get them for pennies. Got a bunch of these scoop pieces in purple. Those, uh, I think, first came out in a friend set that is new for this year. But I only wanted these. I didn't want the rest of the stuff. So I got those there. Ah, these are not... These are not the pieces that I wanted. Uh, did I get confused or did they? I wanted to get the new train wheels by themselves. I think I went for the new train wheels uh, in my, my order. I'll have to recheck on that. Actually, I have the piece of paper over here. They have some, some pictures that they show. But I wanted... No, that was my mistake. I, 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 I thought I was looking at it because I see that the picture does show that it's this type. So I just messed up on that. I want to get the new kind that have the bars on either side because those can be used to do custom stuff that you, that you couldn't do with these before. I really like the new ones. I've seen a lot of people complaining about them, but I think I think they're an improvement because you can do more with them. And uh, New Elementary, new, newelementary.com did some, some tests and found the new ones to be much more consistent. They have a little bit more friction than the old, true, but they're they're more consistent and they're they're self lubricating. As long as you don't have super oily hands and change the lubri lubrication properties by introducing your own skin oils to the to the axles, uh, you can actually get pretty good and consistent performance off the new ones. So I want I still want to get some of the new ones to try some custom stuff. These uh, I think there's like one on one set in this color, Speed Champions wheels that were not used as speed champions wheels. Actually, did they include these on the, the, the... Did the McLaren have that? The Senna? I don't still have it in the room here. Anyway, there aren't too many sets where you can get those. I got a full set just to spare in orange in case I want to do a vehicle with those or a like a train that uses those for some detail, for some greebling or something. These are... The nice shield pieces from uh, from Star Wars, but redone in dark gray. That's just interesting to me. Oh, sweet. Oh, look at all these Overwatch blaster pieces I got in generic colors. Dark gray and black to do custom stuff. I think I'm going to make some custom weapons for some of my specialist troopers for my Planetary Defense Force base. Might redo some stuff that I've already done in the past, so that is cool. I'm not going to sort out everything here, but I do want to, you know, see what all I got. In general, it has been a little while since I placed this order, and you know, I'm I work all day, every day, so I don't keep track of every single little thing. So it, it is a genuine surprise to me sometimes, or frequently, when I get part orders, and you know, I just don't remember the stuff because at the time when I'm placing the order, I'm going through. A process that's efficient and it's quick and then I place it and then I don't think about it again until I receive it these in gray just light gray yes please thank you very much uh, these are silver molded ingots these in black I don't think I had them in black before I think they're new to this color uh, these are the newest form of I think the newest form of stem piece super useful in just brown and then I got a bunch of these as well. This is bright green right here. Lime green and light aqua for some different colored uh, little types of flowers there. I don't know what exactly that's supposed to represent. Some form of pastry. Might be, might be from, the, from the, the Chinese dinner selection. 
but uh, I'm just going to use it for whatever I want. Some construction hard hats in black I got in here. A couple of these just to use around city stuff. It's from friends, but still super useful. I like printed uh, food related stuff. That's from the, uh, the Mickey Mouse idea set. One of these, I only got one in tan. I'll add that to the entomology wing in my redone zoo. This is from Mysterio. These actually were expensive. They will probably end up very quickly being cheaper on Bricklink than off uh, Bricks and Pieces. They probably already are, but I was placing the order. Had these on my list, so I got at least a couple. These are just plain, but I can put a sticker on these, and they're interesting to use in unconventional ways, not as book covers. Got some more of these. I think I've got enough of them for now. Little robot heads. And the rest of the stuff is relatively mundane. So I think that's about that's about that about all there is to see here. Yeah. Bricklink and oh yeah, I also got these in white. Uh, some of these in white as well. Bricklink and Lego bricks and pieces. I use both. Pick a brick wall. Not so convenient for me because I don't have a Lego store that's too close to me. It's quite quite a drive away, which can be a terrible drive in Lego San Francisco Lego. California San Francisco Bay Area traffic. So I just use whatever is most efficient, most convenient, and usually try to find what's cheapest within reason. Let me know if you want me to answer more questions in the future and in what format. If you have any suggestions for that, I am always open to trying different things. It doesn't hurt to try. And uh, I've got to sort some more of this stuff away, put it away. This past weekend, I've actually been doing quite a bit of sorting and putting stuff away, which is just really, really important for me. Going through hundreds of lego sets alone not to mention all the other stuff custom builds when i can uh, just generates a massive massive amount of clutter and just stuff that just piles up so it's a major project ongoing project for me to to deal with these part hauls and and all the sets and stuff as well so i've been putting a lot of time into that it's very very important for my own mental sanity and also to allow me to continue to be able to film new stuff because I have room to do it. I need the, the city room to be clean enough to do videos in there. Oh, that's actually gunmetal gray. Hey. And yeah, I need room to walk around in general. So that's that. Thank you for watching. I'll put some of this stuff away. Keep working, bring you some more videos and talk to you again soon.